Hi everybody, I'm JT. Welcome to another video from me here at Camper Van Journey. Today we're going to be looking at something that hopefully is going to make some of the technology in our van a little bit more up to date. And in today's video, we're going to be having a look at a little gadget that hopefully is going to bring the technology in our van bang up to date. Okay, so our Volkswagen California is a 2019 model, so it's four years old. Not that old, you might think, but uh, when manufacturers are developing uh, vehicles, uh, the technology in them, especially the infotainment technology, is often several years out of date. So if you're into your gadgets and tech and you like to be able to use the latest tech for all sorts of things day to day, then not being able to integrate it into your car can often be a bit of a compromise, a bit, a bit inconvenient. So we've been contacted by the guys at One Car Stereo who asked us to have a little look at a gadget that they've got available, which hopefully may make the tech in our 2019 California a little bit more up to date. Let me just remind you of the tech that we've got, I say tech, of the functionality that we have in our van. So bearing in mind, as I said, this particular van is four years old. The infotainment, the audio system is pretty standard. Uh, we did upgrade to have the factory navigation system, but it's still run through one of the standard Volkswagen radio head units. Now this system is okay, it works okay. Um, the navigation radio functionality is, as you can see, starting to look very dated. The mapping technology is very old, very out of date, and whilst you can update it using Volkswagen's App Connect service, it's not something that uh, we've done very often at all because it's too much of a hassle and the map data is stored on a good old-fashioned SD card. SD card? Yeah, SD card. And um, it is possible to buy updated information, but uh, yeah, it still means, whilst the map information is updated, it might be many, many months before you see any change if you've paid for an update. So what we tend to use, and what I've always um, enjoyed using because it's functional, it's convenient and available, is through my phone, through my iPhone, using um, Apple Maps or Google Maps, using a wired connection into the car itself. Now, wired connection is the key thing because the map system has to be plugged in for it to be able to work in this particular vehicle. So in the center console, there's a little USB socket just here. And using a third party cable, which you plug in, and we have found over time, the reliability of the wired connection does in time reduce because you get dust and muck and fluff and such like in the connector sockets and in the end of the wire. So, however, the wired thing is okay. A wireless functionality would be even better. And the number of apps and things, the functionality you've got on here is all right, but there's always room for a little bit more. And this is where this little gadget comes in. So as I said, the guys from One Car Stereo contact me about this little box here called the A1 Box Lite. And it looks a very innocuous little gadget. You can So I'll put the dimensions up on the screen. It's quite small and compact, but using this little box, we're going to be able to improve the functionality of our integrated audio system. So let me show you how it works. 
So I'm going to unplug my plugged in cable from the phone, my normal cable, and I'm going to plug the A1 box light in to the same socket. And this is the key thing. So in most audio systems of this type with a screen, you'll have a USB connector, whether it's USB-C or the older USB connector that enables you to plug in to uh, the audio system itself. So, so that box is now plugged in. Couple of little flashing lights on the front, as if by magic, we now have a connection or a message on the screen. Now basically what the little black box is doing is wirelessly collecting now to my phone, which is brilliant. So what that now means is that um, there are advantages, as you would imagine, for having a wireless connection to the phone. If I get into the van and the, the, my phone is in my jacket or in my bag, it will automatically connect to Apple, Wire, Apple CarPlay wirelessly. Um, it also means that uh, if somebody's using a device that I want to connect uh, elsewhere in the van, then I can do that and it does it through a Bluetooth connection um, which once it's paired to the device itself. Now, once we're connected up, the choice of apps that we have available is, through CarPlay is exactly the same. But where it gets clever is here. The A1 box light comes pre-installed with a range of other apps that you can use to enhance the functionality of your infotainment system. And for a vehicle that is four years old, to be able to sit here now and do something that I'm about to show you, I think is pretty cool. So now using this wireless connection through this little uh, box one car stereo, I'm now watching the Fast and Furious trailer on, I'm gonna call it my car radio screen because that's what it is effectively, which I think is amazing. So obviously technology has moved on loads and loads and loads in recent history. Um, but to be able to do that in this day and age, so simply and easily, I think is fantastic. But to be able to sit in the van, have it playing on the screen, and the most amazing surround sound audio, surely there's a benefit for that. So suddenly, for very little effort, I've now got the ability to watch video on the screen here. If I click the home function and go back, there are other apps which aren't available through Apple CarPlay. Now, I am an Apple nerd. I've enjoyed Apple devices for many, many years. So some of these functionality and options through CarPlay just aren't available. The one car stereo box based on Android software. Integrated into it are also the Netflix, YouTube, and a couple of other apps aside from the Apple CarPlay system. So with Netflix, all you need to do is log in using your Netflix account details. And using my data connection through my phone, that's key to remember, this is using the data through your phone. I can now play on the screen in the car for everybody to enjoy something from Netflix. I can also, using 
the one car stereo box, watch YouTube in the van as well. So again, imagine the situation, the scenario. It's a miserable day, it's been raining for three days, you're at the campsite, you want to catch up on your favourite camper van YouTube channel, you can watch it in the van. Okay, so we've had a nice lunch stop somewhere in Western France. So there we go. I'm sat in my camper van watching Camper Van Journey on YouTube. So how cool is that? So modern technology is obviously moving pace all the time, but the ability to upgrade what is fairly basic antiquated tech in the van, to be able to do this with the assistance and addition of this little gadget, I think is really cool. So I'll pop a link in the description below to the website for the guys at One Car Stereo. Uh, just keep an eye on their website for, for offers and codes. So full disclosure, they did send me the box to try out, but I'm giving you an objective and um, honest review of what I think. So I genuinely think it adds another dimension to bringing the tech in the van up to date. I do get that it's not for everybody. I do get that going away in the van and campsites and things, sometimes you want to get away from uh, some of the technology. But being a young family with kids in tow, knowing that there are occasions when having the ability to sit down, spin the chairs around and watch something together on the screen that we can all enjoy if we've had a miserable day and it's cold and it's damp there's a real added value for doing that. Now a couple of safety points just to carry off. In the UK it is illegal for you to drive whilst a screen is displaying a video on it. So um, if your system in your car enables you to do that, so display a moving video image whilst you're driving, that's illegal. So just bear in mind, even if the system will let you do it, you'll be responsible for that and it's something you should absolutely not be doing. You should be focusing on the road in head, focusing on the driving in head. So for your own safety, do not operate the device also whilst you're driving. Just concentrate on what you're doing. Let your passenger sell it or operate any of the functionality. It's always, always a good idea. OK, so thanks very much indeed for watching. I hope you enjoyed this slightly different review to what we normally do. Um, and if you're interested in what the box can do for you, I said check out uh, the guys at One Car Stereo. I'll put a link to their website in the description below and have a little read about what the box has got to offer. And who knows, if you think it's something that could be for you. One thing I have noticed is that uh, it does rely on a good phone connection. You're streaming data from your phone and then through the device that then goes to a wired connection into the car's audio. So a good connection is always going to give you a better quality streaming. In our um, trialling out of the device we've seen different levels of quality of the display on the screen itself. So it's never going to be 4K, the, my system's got, got the ability and the resolution to be able to do that but you should still be able to get a good display uh, on the car. But again just check out the system requirements when you're having a look online. Check out the functionality compatibility because they've got a section on the website that will tell you what the box will work with and what it won't and that'll then clarify all those details for you. But I think it's a really cool little gadget and uh, I can see the place for it. I totally get that it's not for everybody but I just thought um, I'd share it with you guys and uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried anything. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any alternatives. But thanks very much indeed for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to click the button to like and subscribe if you have. And we look forward to seeing you on our next video here at Camper Van Journey, where probably we'll be out enjoying this beautiful spring weather. <laughs>